Let's take a look at the setup of your new Companion X. We will be starting by stabilizing your caravan. To do that effectively, you always want to start by getting your caravan slightly nose down. To do that, we will start with a jockey wheel. Turning it down and getting it slightly nose down. Next, you go to your stabilizer legs, the two at the rear. Then you, you decide on the level that you need to use to get this nice and firmly in. As easy as that. Next, you want to open your front and main fold-out bed, starting by unlatching the roof from the bed. Remember to put the outlet back, you're going to lose it. Same on the other side. Next, you go inside the caravan and give the roof a slight push for it to go up. Let's give it a slight push and the gas truss will open your roof. Next, you can open your second headroom roof at the rear. Same latches. Unclip, remember to put your art clip back so you don't lose it. And the gas strut will open it for you. Next, you want to open the front door for the bed. We've got a little latch to open a lever to make opening the latch easier. Same on the other side. Remember to open your R clip for your support Y-frame and just pull forward. The Y-frame rests on the coupler over your grease nipple. Next, grab your webbing strap and pull your tent forward, clip it around your coupler and go to the inside of your caravan. Next, you want to open the U-frame that supports your tent on your easy to use flip over clamps. Extend it, clamp it down and remember the Velcro strap. Next and last for your front bed, you want to install your fly sheet rods that assists with your tension as well. You've got two short ones, two long ones. Start with the short ones in the front. Always ensure that it goes through both holes. Little tip for you, if you are camping in windy conditions, especially harsh windy conditions, it's always a good idea to add a little cable tie through the hole around the rod and tighten it properly to prevent it from coming out in the wind. Your long rods will be installed on the side. Once again, ensure it goes through both holes. One on each side. When you are going to be opening your install on, the one on the kitchen side you can remove and let the fly shoot just hang down next to your awning. There you go. Next, we want to open the concrete install on. We'll start 
by opening your dust and water resistant cover by opening the velcro first and next your zip next open up your retention straps and let the canvas drop down you always want to start with the rear first so take it all the way around at this stage you just want to anchor your awning and not tension it as yet next to the front you always want to anchor your front strap as lateral as possible so the forces is sideways there's not a specific spot you can actually use the little hole this side and don't tension it as yet reason for that is you want to lift up the lifting arms first before tensioning your awning you've got two lift up arms with a little bolt that keeps it in place okay next you can tension your awning starting with the rear again by pulling on your webbing strap you can tension your awning at the back getting the arm at 90 degrees remember to velcro your gutter piece to your gutter next tension in the front by pulling your arm past 90 degrees there you go when installing your separate pole for the rear triangle always ensure that you do a little loop around the pole first to get your, your force on the pole going down you see I'm putting it at a slight angle this helps with water running off the roof you always want to protect your install on from down forces and up forces so firstly for down forces your drop down poles are always permanently attached drops down ensure it's nice and tight and lock it with the Aussie clamp you always 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 need to anchor your install on downwards easiest is to be to use a carabiner clip clip it on and you anchor to the floor using a proper anchor peg the last little bit with your install on is to get the bag out of the way you'll see there's velcro straps inside the bag so you'll just lift it up and stick the velcro on itself getting it out of the way the companion x is equipped with an awning bracket to keep the bag out of the way of your grocery cupboard the grocery cupboard is situated right in the center of the caravan always ensure that you clip it in with an anti-loose clip to protect it from wind nice and big all your, your groceries nice spice rack at the top worktop built in and most important your mini bar the companion x also comes with a coffee station built in on top of your kitchen unit kitchen unit opening it up is very easy even my little five-year-old daughter can pull out this unit space for two washing basins it's 
install your stove grid. Cast iron strong like any conqueror. And lastly, your LPG line gets installed with a quick release fitting. Opening your side bed on your Companion X is very straightforward and easy. Start by opening your fly sheet always first. I like to open the, the zip and the Velcro at once. Open the retention straps and then let it roll down. Next, open the compression locks on the door and let the gas truck do its work. Bring the base down and zip your tent to the door. Twin zips to make it easier. When getting to the corners, it usually gets a bit tight, so take some slack <laughs> off the tent. You can build up all the way through. Next, you want to make sure that water runs off nicely, so make sure that you put the Velcro flaps in place. There's a bungee cord on each corner that goes around the lock. The left side of the fly sheet has got another bungee cord that you just put around the spare wheel carrier. And that keeps the spare wheel also in a static position. Next, you want to install your spring rods. Once again, ensure that it goes through both holes on the bracket. It bends all the way back and keeps your window flap in place. Last one is your longer one that goes to the fly sheet. Slightly at an angle. And that tensions your fly sheet. On the opposite side of your kitchen, You've got additional storage with four ammo boxes. This is upgradable to a drawer system as well with four separate drawers instead of ammo boxes, whichever you prefer. Your hot water geyser is situated in your right hand side nose cone door. Make sure that you open it up. It's on a swing out system to get the heat to escape away from your tent. Gas line run into your gas cylinder. The igniter runs on a D-cell torch battery. Always make sure that you maybe have a spare set somewhere in your caravan and it ignites itself. Operating your Companion X power pack is very straightforward. Even the least technical person will easily, easily operate this system. Firstly, start by plugging in your 220 volt extension, if you've got 220 volt available. Secondly, switch on your main 220 volt switch. The little LED indicator will indicate that you have 220 volt available. Next, you've got your multi-plug. It switches on your multi-plug inside your grocery cupboard. Next, your switch that says battery or battery isolator will activate the 12 volt system from your battery. Next, you can switch on your outlets. This will open up your 12 volt control panel. And lastly, your battery charger running off 220 volt, you can also switch on. The moment you switch that on, you'll see you've got a positive amp reading. 
we will get back to that now. Lastly, your control panel, you can individually control your fridge, your outlets and media, that's for 12 volt outlet, outlets inside and outside. And halo plugs, lights, and your water pump. Remember to rather switch off your water pump when not in use. It does have a pressure switch, but it's always a, a safety feature to use. On your power pack, you also have 12 volt outlets, a hella plug, 12 volt lighter socket, and twin USBs. The reading on your display will give you a volt indication and an amp in indication. Remember that your amp reading is a difference. So it will give you the difference between amps coming in and amps going out. Lastly, you've got a water meter installed as well that works as, as an accumulator. So once you have filled your water tank, hold in the little silver button for eight seconds. Water level reset in two, one, and now it's been reset, so it indicates it's got a full tank and that will count as you use your water and indicate where your tank level is.